Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today to check out the latest video song single from our boys and girls in Draconian, and that is The Sacrificial Flame. You know what? It would have been The Sacrificial Lamb. That would have been... That, that would have sung good. But that would have gone more into the... some lamb right about now. That, that could go more into the black metal... Yeah, I think that perhaps would be more of a behemoth kind of yeah. song title. So, The Sacrificial Flame. Alright, I'm down with this. I'm really excited for this upcoming album from Draconian. So far, the two singles have been yeah. magnifique. Uh, let's see what this third single has in store for us. Are you ready? I'm always down. You're always ready for Draconian. Yeah. Alright, let's do this.
All right. So what do you think? What are you doing? I'm I'm closing off the rest of the day on my schedule so I can listen to this on uh, on repeat. Ooh. Because that that's that's what this calls for. All right. I think I think this calls for that too. That's what this calls for. I'm done for the day. I'm done with this. This is a mic drop. Best single so far from the album. For, uh, you can fight me on it. This is the best single. So I, I know it's, for it, you the second song. The was, second song was is your favorite. Yeah. But to me, this so that's probably the one I've listened to out of the three singles the most. Obviously, this is the first time listening. This is the first one. time we're listening to this one. To me, this one is a mic drop. I actually think they should have released this as the first single. It. it, it where, where, where do we start? All right. Now that I booked my time no, off, I want to start? start with the part where you, you, you flew out of your chair. Oh, dude! But that was the build up. The build up was. I amazing. knew it. I knew it. if it's like I'm like if, if this shit doesn't come heavy, I, I'm freaking losing it. I, I'm gonna send Anders a, a message and I'm and I'm gonna chew one, him up. He's one of the. I gotta say, he's one of the greatest harsh vocals in metal. Period. Period. Yes. Because I, I rate him... Also so, very nice guy. Yeah, I rate him so highly because the way he's able to, to kind of build up his parts in the song... But the lines... It's unlike anyone I Those understand. two lines... Well, well, it was more than two because he repeated it. Yeah. But those lines... You know, the, the, the funeral pyre... Like but rhyming. He, he, says it, the, he says it with such a deep and but, sorrowful voice. It, and it was not harsh vocals. There. It was no, very it, easy it, to, to, very, to... Very easy to understand. But so when he really said that... Message. When he said that, I was like... That part... It was that bridge there was absolutely outstanding, outstanding. The rhyming of the words, what the words meant. Yeah. No, never mind the rhyme. The rhyming is important what because the lyrics it, meant. what the lyrics meant. And you can feel it and you can his feel it. Vocals. I'm listening to this and I'm like, holy shit, man! This, he, I, I'm, I'm like inside. I'm like, he better put down I, a chair and start. And start I, I need going. some explosion right yeah. here. Like, and when it came, the heaviness came. I was like, yeah. I, but, I was uh, like, I mean, I was already sold on the track, but that portion of the song kills it. You see, that's why I rate him so highly because he's able to build up his parts like that. He's able to kind of go with that. And the way the, the the rhyming parts of it, the way he's saying it, almost like a child's lullaby. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It almost felt like he was singing a, a, a child's lullaby. He's trying to like put you to sleep, and then he wakes you right you. back up. Yeah, he's dulling you, and then boom. Wow, I was like I, blown away. Uh, another thing I want to talk about, like there's a few other things I want to talk about, but one thing I want to talk about, the original riff, it, it disappears halfway through the song and then it comes back again at the end. That riff is meaty. Yeah. Meaty. You know what I mean? Like today I was listening to uh, Napalm Death and, I, and uh, on the review that I, rec I recorded or pre-recorded, it's not out yet. I haven't posted it yet. I refer to one of the songs as having a slimy kind of riff. This one... This one was meaty. Yeah. This one was like I was watching the show alone and the guy killed the bison and he's dragging a half a carcass back to his man cave. That's meaty. Meaty. Was that was that kind of meaty? Holy shit, that riff was meaty. Oh. You could feel the the thickness of the sound it's of like that his, guitar riff. It was like it was like there was four four guitars playing the riff at the same like time. His vocals just became an instrument. Oh, you're going back to the vocals? I was still talking about oh, the Oh, no, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about the way the guitars came across. They were basically just his vocals, but as an as instrument. An well, the vocals are an instrument. That's why you kind of yeah, got but, me confused there. But I, I know what you mean. I know the, what you, the, the thickness that it has The thickness it. of both his vocals yeah. and the guitars came across in this song are the same. I, I love that the song starts... There's The song has three parts. The first part which is the same as the last part of the song. The only thing that changes is that incredible guitar uh, as the song finishes yeah. off. That melody of that guitar, I wanted something like that, and I'm glad they put it at the end because I think it would have messed up the way the song is constructed if it was anywhere else because it's the perfect ending. It ends in a very sour, uh, sorrowful note, but still very melodic. So the, the song has like three three portions, the beginning, the end, which matches, and then in the middle, you, you, you have... You have Multiple orgasms, yeah. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Like, and for me, I I'm willing to fight anybody out there. You guys can argue with me until the cows come home, or if the cows don't want to come home, until whoever else comes home. This is the best single out of the three so far. If At least I, my favorite. If I listen to it more, I may have a different opinion, but the second one is still... What was it, Sorrow of Sophia? So, yeah. That's, still, that's your favorite one so far? Yeah. 
Wow. Even after this one. I mean, you only, only heard it once. Yeah, so if I listen, that's what I said. If I listen to this one more, maybe my you will switch. Okay. But, but from the two singles, that's the one you've concentrated your attention yeah. on. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. For me, this one now is just... My, my eyes are flickering right now. Same. Like, my eyes are flick. Uh, like, I'm, I'm freaking losing it with this track. Absolutely incredible. Uh, by the way, if you guys are a big fan, uh, I just want to throw one more thing out there. It's somewhat related to Draconian. It's related to uh, Anders. He did uh, a guest vocal spot on a band called Tomorrow's Rain. They're an Israeli band from Tel Aviv. They have an album coming out. Uh, I believe September 11th is when the album comes out, or September 18th. Uh, one, or, one or the other. They have an album coming out called Hollow. They're a doom, goth, death metal band. And the album is a who's who of doom metal. So you got guys from like Paradise Lost. Oh, yeah, you told you me got, about uh, this. Uh, I, I put some songs on, uh, on, your, on your phone. Uh, you got Anders from uh, Draconian. You, it's, it's like the who's who. Um, Aaron Steinthorpe from My Dying Bride is in one song. It, it's a who's who uh, of doom metal and goth metal. Uh, the song that he's featured on is the last song on the album. It's, it's a cover of a Nick Cave song, the, the Weeping Song. I, I, I sent him a message. When I heard this song, I was like, dude, you absolutely killed it. Like, you, you, you butchered. Like, not butchered in a bad way. Like, no. I mean, like, he slaughtered that track. Uh, and he sent me a message back. We exchanged a few messages. Absolutely killer. So, if you guys are a fan of Draconian, check out Tomorrow's Rain and check out that. Uh, it's not out yet. So, when it's out, uh, check it out. Uh, absolutely incredible. He, he takes that song. I, I think the original. I'm a huge fan of Dick did Cave. You, so did you put that one on my phone? Yes. So I, I'm a huge fan of Nick Cave. The album, once again, is not out yet. We have it because I got it for a review, but it's not out yet. Uh, there's a few songs out, but not this one that I'm talking about. This one is not out yet. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Nick Cave. I think he's absolutely like magnificent. Outside of metal, like one of my favorite vocalists, one of my favorite artists. Uh, the cover that they did is better than the original, and I thought I thought the original. It was hard. It was hard to do better than the original. They did better than the original. And and uh, and his voice on that song, like I had to send him a message. I was like, like just like you said, he he has this way of building up the track with his voice, and he does that on that song. He's his own hype man. <laughs> yeah, he's he's when it comes to he's, doom, he's well, hyping in a, himself in a, up in a doom kind of way. Yeah, he's hyping himself up with those like those uh those speeches, and then he just drops the mic. Yeah. So if you guys are a fan of Draconian. Not only pick up the upcoming Draconian album that this song is from, I'm so ex I mean, I cannot wait for Napalm to send me this album for, for review. I, it's one of the most anticipated records for me this year as far as reviews uh, are concerned. And, uh, but if you guys are a fan, check out Tomorrow's Rain as well. Uh, you'll, you'll get a little bit of Draconian right there at the end. And, and you'll see what I'm... Once it's out, you'll see what I'm talking about. One of... It, to me, is the best cover metal cover that I heard this year. I haven't heard anything that even comes close to that. All right, on that note, come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See ya.